publishing, distribution, and administration are three different things. And you're going to get charged hefty fees for all three. In this video, we're going to define what publishing is and what it is not. Answer whether or not every songwriter needs a publisher or a publishing deal. Clear up the confusion between music publishing and music administration. What's up, y'all? It's me, your intrepid songwriter, chronicling my adventures as a songwriter, because seriously, who does that? My songwriter sense has been tingling since I've noticed that there's a lot of confusion out there. And confusion equals missing money. So what exactly is publishing? Publishing is the business of acquiring and exploiting song slash musical composition copyrights and collecting the royalties that these copyrights generate. Companies that do administration exclusively do not do full publishing functions, but all publishing companies do full administrative functions. I want you to think of publishers as opportunity aggregators. They get your songs out there to work for you in as many places as they can. There are three types of publishing companies. Independent publishers, those that operate completely separately from major labels and their affiliated publishing companies. Many majors, smaller indie companies that distribute through a major publisher. Major publishers, huge companies affiliated with a major record label, and of the date of the recording of this video, there are only three major publishers. Sony ATV, Sony is the largest publisher in the world, and they bought EMI Publishing in 2018. Universal Music Publishing Group, the second largest. Warner Chapel, the third largest. So since publishers are about acquiring song copyrights and making money with them, let's take a closer look at exactly how they do that. But first, a word from our sponsor. Don't forget to hire me as your music money maximizer. I'll walk you through all the registrations you need to receive your maximum royalties. And remember, your first 15 minute consultation is free. Click on the link below. Publishers do acquire and own your song copyrights. However long they own them is dependent on the terms of the contract. Some are for as little as two to five years. Some are for the entire life of the copyright. Publishers do offer you advances. Smaller publishers may offer hundreds or thousands. Major publishers can offer millions. Publishers do pay you at least twice a year, at most four times a year. Publishers do register your songs with PROs, which stands for Performing Rights Organizations. Performing Rights Organizations collect what are called performance royalties generated every time your song or musical composition is performed in public. I'll be doing separate videos on performing rights organizations. Publishers do work with the Harry Fox Agency, the Mechanical Licensing Collective, and Music Reports. Those groups collect what are called mechanical royalties. They are generated every time a copy of your music is downloaded, physically sold, or streamed, or if another artist does a cover of your song. I'll be doing separate videos on mechanical rights organizations. Publishers do issue sync licenses, which allows the purchaser of the license to sync your song to a video-based work. Publishers do issue licenses to other people or places that want to license your music. Publishers do keep track of songs that you write yourself and songs you co-write with others. Update any ownership changes in your songs. Publishers do operate internationally collecting money for you from all over the world. Publishers do offer creative services to songwriters to make your catalog more attractive or more lucrative. For example, they pitch your songs to commercial advertisers, pitch your songs to TV shows, pitch your songs to video game developers, pitch your songs to movies, pitch your songs to record labels and popular artists to record your songs. Publishers do 
set you up with other songwriters for co-writes, have you perform at industry showcases. Publishers do give you feedback on how to improve your music. Publishers do collect the performance royalties, mechanical royalties, sync licensing, and other license fees owed to you for your musical compositions, and they pay that money directly to you. Publishers deduct 25 to 50% of those monies as their commission. Publishers do not work for sound recording owners and recording artists. Collect any monies connected to the sound recording. They just collect for the musical composition. So the next logical question is, how do I find a publisher? You can Google music publishers in your particular city. You can get a copy of Songwriters Market. That has been the go-to book for decades on finding publishers. You can go to Songwriters Universe and check out their extensive publishers list. You can go to Music Business Registry and also check out their very extensive publishers list. You can join an organization that specializes in connecting a songwriter to the right publisher, such as Global Songwriters Connection. All of the above information on how to find a publisher is linked in the description box below. So now let's look at types of publishing deals. Self-published. There obviously are no advances because you're working for yourself. There is no requirement that you go through a publishing company other than your own. Most people set up their own publishing companies by forming an LLC in their state. All the money that comes in belongs to you and or your co-writers. You have to do all the paperwork, like your LLC company filings, the song registrations, and keeping up with both the royalties and the taxes. Your income will be limited to the places that you personally know to collect your royalties from. You have to do all the pitching yourself for movies, TV shows, video games, and commercials. So you're gonna have to build a lot of relationships with a lot of music supervisors. Work for hire publishing deal. The publisher hires you and pays you a salary. In return for that salary, they become the full copyright owner of every song you write for them. All the rights, all the control, and the income fully belongs to them forever. You most likely won't even be listed as a songwriter when the song is published. The owner will be. You have to write a certain number of songs per year to keep the deal. Traditional publishing deal. The publisher may give you an advance. The size of that advance depends on your track record and the size of the publishing company. That advance can range from hundreds to thousands to tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands to millions. But you have to be a top 10 hit maker, proven songwriter to get advances at those higher financial levels. Your advance must be recouped by the publisher before you get any royalties. The company owns your copyrights for whatever the contract says, but normally it's the life of the copyright. Some traditional publishers have now reduced it to two to five years, renewable after three years. The publisher does all of the publishing work, the pitching, the promotion, and the paperwork. In a traditional deal, the publisher keeps 50% of the income as their share. You have to write a certain number of songs per year to keep the deal going. Co-publishing deal works just like a traditional deal, except you get to keep half of the publishing. So you keep your 50% songwriter share plus 25% of the publishing income as well for a total of 75% of all the money coming in going to you. In the co-publishing deal, you share ownership interest in the copyright 50-50. You may still have only a limited amount of control as to how your musical compositions are used or placed. You can seek publishing opportunities on your own you may or may not have to write a certain number of songs per year. Sub-publishing deal. A sub-publisher acts on behalf of the original publisher, but in a specific geographic territory. 
Most songwriters don't need to seek out a separate sub-publisher if they have a publishing deal in place, especially with traditional publishers and or major publishers. Sub-publishers often specialize in international markets. Sub-publishers act as a manager in their specific territory to monitor copyrights, collect royalties, licensing fees, and promote the catalog and pitch the songs in that market. The sub-publisher keeps a percentage of the money earned as their fee. Sub-publishers offer a contract with a three-year term. Sub-publishers work with contracts for artists when their music is being used in other countries to translate those songs into that country's language. So what are the pros and the cons of getting a publisher in a publishing deal? Pros. There's a lot of necessary paperwork that must be done that they take care of for you. There are royalty streams that you may not be familiar with that they collect for you. They can, through sub-publishers, have more of a global reach than you could ever personally have. Major publishers have a well-established network of agents, managers, music supervisors, venue owners, and multimedia platforms to get your songs heard. Cons. They collect mainly performance royalties, mechanical royalties, and licensing fees, and there are many more royalty streams to collect from. Not all publishers collect in all countries. They own your song copyrights from two years to life. If it's not a major publishing company, the publisher could easily get bought out by another company that you don't even have a relationship with, even a company on the other side of the world. There's no way to prove if publishers have relationships in all possible countries like they claim they do. 25 to 50% of your royalties is a big cut. If they charge you a base fee per month, you might end up owing more than you're collecting. So should you get a publisher or some type of publishing deal? The answer is it's always up to you, but it depends on both the size of your catalog and the number of hit songs you have. The bigger your catalog of musical compositions and the more hits you have, the more likely you are to be missing money worldwide from all the places that are playing your music, using your music, and may want to license your music. So even if the collection rate is not 100%, it'll still be more than you're getting now. And you need to spend most of your time making more good music. But the smaller your catalog and the less hits you have, the publisher may not be able to do much for you. And you won't really have a lot of leverage with a publisher to negotiate your contract until you become a hit songwriter. As a friend of mine said, as far as publishing companies are concerned, until you are a hit maker, you are just a time taker. So do your research and decide for yourself. What's my motto? Never stop writing.